on behalf of the development team here at Crane Island, I'd like to welcome you to the 2019 Southern Living Idea House. You can actually come here uh, for $22, you can take a tour of the house, and actually part of the proceeds of this house is gonna go to the Amelia Island Museum of History. So we've got a great partnership with them. We've got some great hotel partners that are actually gonna help uh, bring people here. So if you wanna get more information on that, just go to ameliaisland.com slash southern living. So if I can, let me just tell you a little bit about the house uh, as we get started here. This is really to represent something you would have seen in Old Fernandina. And it's a river home here, but all the bracketing detail, all the rail detail is stuff that you would have seen downtown. And here we are building a brand new home to honor those great traditions. So if I can, let me bring you on in. Um, I can say to you, we're, we're kind, of, kind of porch snobs. We get really excited about porches. Uh, they gotta be a certain width. And uh, in this house, there's actually over 1,400 square feet of porch space that you can enjoy. So both on the front side, where you got Eastern exposure, and on the Western side, where you're gonna watch your sunsets. This home is a wonderful collaboration. Uh, Historical Concepts is the architect of record for the home. Uh, so Jim Strickland and Clay Rokicki uh, were very instrumental in getting the architecture right. And as I open this door, you're gonna see the magic of Heather Chaddock out of Birmingham, Alabama with her team uh, to really infuse this wonderful style here at Crane Island. So as we're standing here in the gallery, one of the things that we want to make sure we could do is that you would see that view immediately. You would really feel the, the, the river speaking to you. These doors here actually open up and bifold so that all that breeze space, you know, basically this space and the outdoor space become one. So the home is set up that the master bedroom is down, all the major living space is down, and you can almost imagine that second generation is all upstairs. So we'll cover some of that today as we go through here. And one of the hallmarks of this house is certainly the attentiveness to molding and detail. Every single wall for the most part is covered in some degree of cladding. So whether it's a nickel gap board that you see here, um, great trim work throughout the home. And um, we also very, we were very attentive to natural light throughout the home. So as you come into any of these spaces, you're gonna see light on multiple sides of the home. And again, the river is what speaks to us with this, this property and that you're able to look out and actually really enjoy uh, the views of the river. Uh, your sunsets are out there. And interesting enough here on Amelia Island, the, the sunsets really change throughout the year. So your winter sunsets are southwest and then your summer sunsets are up to the northwest. Some sort of interesting things, even in this space, this was a space to actually have felt like it was reclaimed. Um, there would have been a porch there originally, and then we had this space here uh, for the master bedroom. And for a little bit of um, sort of a whimsy, there's this element of sort of showing you how the home was built. So actually these are real two by fours to show you how they would have built that home back in the days with the slanted boards for strength and then the structural integrity of the two by fours. Those are real two by fours, by the way. And then as you come into the master bathroom area here, obviously a place for him and her, wonderful tub area. And then just, uh, I've never seen this before, but just a wonderful shower with this sort of grid pattern on it as well. This is just an incredible space, uh, lots of room for clothing and all the goodies that you might need to enjoy a home like this. Uh, and again, natural light throughout, that was really important to the design team to make sure they were able to get that. Now, the Southern Living Idea House program is really set up to give the public a lot of great ideas. And in this house in particular, there's gonna be over 100 ideas that you'll get from the house. If you're in a room, for example, you can actually get ideas of where this paint color came from, who were the sponsors of the windows, like Marvin Windows, Clarkston and Circa Lighting uh, throughout here. So what's nice is if you see something you really love, you can actually make it your own, and, uh, or at least know where it came from. So now we're gonna kind of make our way back into the uh, sort of social space, but before we do that, let me, um, let me bring you out here. This is one of my favorite parts of the house. Just a really wonderful and generous screen porch space. And um, one of the things that was really fun about this project is working with our sponsors. And uh, they all wanted to do something a little bit different and, and sort of special. And so as an example, these lanterns here, they're actually made by Carolina Lanterns out of Charleston, South Carolina. And uh, they actually designed them for Crane Island, which is really exciting for us. And now you can actually buy them as part of the Crane Island uh, line of um, lighting. So it's, it's something that we're proud of. Obviously, they, they look like they've been here for a while, and that was also part of the design intent. But um, really, really happy with how the sponsors stepped up and helped uh, with the project. 
One of the things I mentioned early on is our love of porches, and, and they all live in different ways, but in this case, we often went with a deeper porch that was 12, sometimes 14 feet in depth, because we wanted you to enjoy an, a dinner of 10 out here on the porch. We wanted you to be able to come out and very comfortably have a nice gathering here with uh, the living space and look out over the view. And, uh, you know, daily, uh, hourly, you know, by the minutes, you're going to see boats go by here, you're going to see dolphins come by, and it's really just, there's just a wonderful scenic setting here that you can take in the river and watch it change throughout the year and watch it change throughout the day. So, um, again, just a really wonderful use of outdoor space with this home. One of the things that was important for the selection of this home site is that you would have a wonderful river view, but there's also a park view here. And one of the things that's exciting about Crane Island is this interconnect of trail systems. There's actually a trail right there that leads to the main amenity, but there's a sense of privacy too that comes with living on a park like this. I'd also point out again some of these architectural details, the bracketing up here, the porch rail details, they really get inspiration from downtown. And there was this one wonderful home on 10th Street uh, South, and it just, it was wonderful. And so this is a little bit of an embellishment on that to honor that tradition. As we look at an older home, it's, it's an older home and it's feeling in its character, but the way it lives is the way people live today. And so it was really a great kind of fusion of those two ideas. So one of the fun things about this house is all the joys you celebrate. And one of the joys we all celebrate as dog owners is that we love our pets. And so there was actually a little nod to the pet here with a, a dog pot filler, which uh, you don't see every day. And then up here, just above the uh, garage, is a little studio. But up here, you could have done a lot of different things. So today it's set up as a five bedroom house, but this could be a wonderful uh, sort of artist studio. It could be a, um, another den or library if somebody wanted it up here, but it doesn't get any better in terms of the view and the lines that are out here. Again, it's just a, a home that kind of spreads out um, and you've got different perspectives wherever you are in the home. And uh, you gotta come see the upstairs, but the only way to see it is you gotta buy your ticket. So uh, if you want to get more information about staying here on Amelia, go to ameliaisland.com slash southern living. And then if you want to learn a little bit more about Crane Island or how to buy tickets, just go to craneisland.com.